I'm Jacqueline Kelp. I'm 30 and I live in New York, New York. Um, uh, what I love about Victoria's Secret is the product line kind of transcends through time, whether you be a college student and you are looking at the pink line, or if you're in your late 20s, early 30s, General Victoria's Secret's line makes you feel kind of sexy and womanly. Um, if I could change anything about Victoria's Secrets is I guess the fact that pink the line is also kind of in the same store as the general product. There's nothing slightly more awkward than picking out the same pair of underwear that a 15 year old's picking out. Um, how do I define sexy? I guess that would be just hair down, barefoot, um, kind of just beach waved hair. Um, and how do I define sensual? I guess. Um, Kind of the same is um, I guess it's a little bit more on the personal level I think sexy is what you put out into the world and sensual is more about how you feel about yourself um, I think that Victoria's Secret is more on the sexy side I think a lot of us dress up and put on lingerie for our significant others um, and I think a lot of it is in tune with making a woman feel great about her body um, regardless of what that body looks like um, Victoria's Secrets models being relevant today or aspirational, um, I think they are kind of the prototype of what every woman wants to look like and yeah, I, I would say after seeing that, that kind of forces females to get to the gym and kick their ass. Um, Fantasy's line, uh, I think it's terrific, um, when it comes to body fragrance, um, I'm not necessarily looking for value but I'm definitely interested on a daily basis of having something that I can throw in my bag. If I'm running to meetings and I kind of want to get a little more fresh, uh, I use the fantasy line for that. Um, pretty much it is great uh, convenience wise and price point wise. A lot of the fragrances that I do buy out of side of fantasies are large bulky glass bottles. So this is a little bit nicer to carry around with me in my bag. Um, and I actually sometimes use it as a room spray to kind of freshen up the room. Um, in regard to an efficacy, efficacy <laughs> claim on the bottle, um, last 12 hours versus nothing um, doesn't really bother me. I know that fragrance is kind of fleeting, depends on how much you put on. Um, there's nothing worse than the woman who gets into my elevator smelling like Chanel number no. five every morning that she bathed in it. Um, so I'm okay with a scent that doesn't last as long as I, you know, as long as I'm going throughout the day. Um, as far as too many products, I think Victoria's Secrets is doing a great job in kind of keeping it, um, the full product line for the scents that people want. Um, I think more is more. And the scent range, um, floral and fruity that launch every year. I'm totally fine with it. I kind of have my signature perfume that I wear day in and day out um, with Elizabeth and James, and that's a really heavy, musky scent. Um, so I like the fruity scents, and actually I think it's great as not only kind of a clothing spray if you're out at a bar, um, meeting up with friends, it's kind of a good refreshing scent to have something fruity or floral. Um, I'm not really looking for anything darker. Um, I've got my go-to perfume, and I could change anything about the line is I guess it would be just maybe the packaging um, over the years they've changed it a ton of times and I guess it's a little more streamlined but I'd like to see it even more streamlined Thanks. now I can upload it